All right, guys, welcome back to another video today for Farmer Scoobs. We are in the shed. We are just doing a small bit of chopping and changing around with the cattle. We have Valentine here and Veruca uh, brought round with their mothers, and we've now put them back in on the slats. So these calves are going to have a bit of freedom and a bit of movement around uh, to be, I suppose, in and out of the yard and, and getting used to the, um, the elements because they can go in and out through here now from here to the back shed. So we had... Our other black white head out for Cavan. She has since calved. We had Julie, our 115 cow out, who was in calf to Potterley Mark, has calved. Calved yesterday. And I'll just give you a quick look here. Calved and tagged. We had a small bit of an issue with the tag in this ear. Clipped the vein. Here's a small bit of blood coming out of it, but it has since stopped. But in perspective for these Potterley Mark breeds, he is extremely hairy. Such a fluffy calf. This is the fluffiest calf that this cow has ever had by far. And he has a neck on him. You don't even know where the neck starts or the neck ends. It just runs in with his head. He's a serious calf. But um, as Julie goes, she is a nine-year-old cow. This is her seventh calf. These two are just getting used to their pin now. I thought with them coming in hungry because they had no meat or had no food in the feeder, so I thought with the, when they were coming in, they might just settle in and start eating away. But they will have a bit of a barney here for a while or two and they'll eventually just settle down. So for our next cow to calve, we have this 393 heifer. This is the one that broke her cleat last year and it is still growing quite funny in there. But it will, um, she's not sore on it or anything. That's a better look at it there now. She's not sore or lame on it or anything like that. It's just it's not growing. Not growing right. So when she calves down, she'll be getting that paired. Our two bulls are still in there. Happy as go lucky. We are expecting a storm this weekend. It is trying at the level best here the last hour to try and rain. I'm fingers crossed it doesn't do a whole pile. So just in here. The crew hasn't changed in here. It's still the same crew. Three black white heads and the three calves. And our Shardy heifer with her bull calf. That bull calf is now sucking on the black white heads as well, which was what I was in, was hoping would happen when I put him in here. The pin is black, but I walked up into it now because I had to tag this bull calf today off the heifer, the Shardy heifer. And it is dry up the back. It's just a small bit mucky down here, but up the back it's nice and dry, so they have a clean place to dry. But I'm just going to put another bale of straw in on top of that. And the same up in the little creep area for the calves to go in the light, because they're all lying in there now. So we had to do a small bit of rearrangement on the different areas, because we wanted to put our two shardy cows back in on the slats with the two calves. So we brought our four heifers round here into this shed, and we've popped them in here into this pit, and they're currently eating their maize and super beef. And we have stuck in this cow here, this red whited. She is so late to calve this year. It'll be May before she calves. So we've just managed, we've just popped her in here with our Charlie Bull and our Roan Heifer and our Charlie Heifer. They're about 80 days off calving now, so it's a bidding away. And she's up in the hundreds or the early 90s anyway. So push comes to shove, I'm not entirely sure. We might just let these out into a spot where we're not too worried about it's not in any scheme or anything like that so we can put a ring feeder into it and move the ring feeder around and just feed them a bit of silage in it but um we're not tight for space in this tank next door we've probably only about six to eight inches of room left so i'm going to go and grab a couple of bales of straw and uh we'll try and get this shed a small bit more presentable four or five round bales of straw and just take the twines off them. You can see the cows up there. One of the cows is eating it. There's a fair bit of dust there blowing on the camera. There was a nice bit of dust in it, but anyways, what can you do? So I've just scattered out the most of it towards the back and any of the big clumps that's left up here at the front, the cows and the calves will just pull them down as they're running around. It's nice to see them starting this early anyway. I just put in a small little um, trough in here, three foot trough and a bit of maize and super beef mix that I'm giving the other heifers just to see because I noticed this heifer yesterday was inclined to eat out of the trough in the back shed when they got round there so 
I said I'd chance it. No harm in getting them in, getting them trained early for the bit of creep. And she seems to like it. But the one has been inquisitive as well. She's smelling around. She can smell it. And our storm is beginning to kick up. It's getting rough around here now today, so we're not going to be spending too long outside. So we're just going to get fed up here fairly, fairly quickly today now, and just make sure everyone is all right. And we're going to close up all the doors and gates, and we're going to head off back into the warm house. Our Landini tractor has gone in for a service. It's gone in for a top to toe service, as they call it. Uh, everything has been changed. Everything has been done on it. All the oils have been done on it. All the filters. Anything that can be greased will be greased. Anything that can be oiled will be oiled. And uh, anything that needed adjusting, I know the brakes needed adjusting in it and the clutch, so they're going to do that as well. And anything that basically needed a change on it, you know, that was worn, uh, joints, steered and joints or anything like that, they said to check everything over. So I'm not exactly sure if anything went wrong or if anything needed change. We'll know later on anyone will go to pick it up. But it's an extensive service. Everything that can be done on it will be done. And uh, it's just a nice bit of peace of mind before any major tractor work starts up now this year, such as slurry or fertilizer spreading or cut grass or bale or anything, at least I know a peace of mind that the tractor will be will be uh, ticking along and getting ready. There should be no issues with that one. Now I know our Zetter tractor. There's a couple of bits and pieces that needs doing with that, but nothing that I cannot do here. It's basically just an oil and filter change this one needs because it doesn't do a whole pile. Uh, back end oil is fine in it because I had that checked anyway and the oil is still spotless in it, so I'm not going to do anything with that. And it's basically just a general grease and check the levels in the, the diff nothing major with that one and um, then wheel weights has to come off the back of that i've been meaning to get round to doing that they're not needed now at the minute they were only put on that for when the hedge cutter was on so we shall be taking them off if don't need it it's excess wear on the tires it doesn't need to be done and i will be in the next week or so getting a filter for that and we shall be getting that one serviced up as well we'll pull it into the shed and uh, run it for a bit and drain the oil out of it so it's just starting now at this time of the year, getting things, uh, getting, I suppose, a bit itchy to try and get things done. I know we're, we're keeping an eye on the fertilizer prices at the minute. They're steady at the minute. They're not, they're not changing a whole pile. So we're going to wait for this bout of weather to pass and hopefully next week we'll just see, we'll take a look and see, we'll price it again and we'll take a look and see what the weather is forecast. So guys, just to finish off this video for today, a bit of heads up this coming week, we are going on slurry. Uh, keep a look out for that video. It will be up towards the end of the weekend. We're just getting on with the storm here. Day two was a lot worse than day one. There's a lot of high winds, a high gusts out there today. Now we didn't think it was going to be as bad today. I don't know where this rain is coming out of. I'm in the shed and it's still managing to get me. Oh, it's blowing in over the gutter. Just standing here for a minute. But um, it's uh, it's it's fairly letting it down there now. It's very disappointing, very disappointing at this time of the year to be looking at this sort of weather when things should be drying up. Our tank next door here is about six inches off being full. So we're looking at probably Wednesday for an agitating day. We'll have to let the stock out of the houses. You know, we're going to sort out the two uh, pins here in the yard and get them, get the cows separated into each pin. And. Uh, Jesus. We will separate the cows out into two pins in the yard and just get the two tanks. We're going to agitate the two. This tank here is fine. There's about maybe two foot left in it. I'm not overly worried about it, but when the agitator's on, we'll have to give it a spin. This tank here, like I said, is about six inches off, so we're hoping to get a few loads. If not, we might just try and empty it. If the ground is travelable, where I want to put slurry out, if it's travelable, we'll empty it. If not, we'll just take a couple of loads out just to get us through until the um, the cattle can get out. Uh, at the minute, there's not a whole pile else going on here. We're just getting on with day to day, trying to get over this storm. There's been quite a bit of damage around the countryside. There's a bit of damage over the road from here from, from the home house. A few telegraph poles are leaning over. And there's a couple of branches of trees and stuff down. I haven't ventured out to any of our our land even up to get our bales of silage we had enough silage here in the land i'm expecting to see a tree or two down up there as well because there has been some serious high winds but look we'll just see how it goes but we're going to leave it at that for today's video guys uh not a whole pile of content in it for you but just i wanted to touch base and let you all know what's going on 
and what we're looking at doing for the next coming week. And um, as always, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. You should have the beacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity.